What a beautiful night! This little festival is cool too! Are you happy, baby? That's so pretty, mommy! It is, see? You're drawing in the air! Ah, somebody gave me fire! Gotta throw it to the for villains like Daddy! Hanabi? Uh, coming, Hanabi! You stand there, Kasui! Dare do something! Uh, yeah! Kasui, are you okay? Mm, oh, sorry. I was remembering something. Newly roommates, and we already have a problem! Ugh, Bakugo, you're taking too long! Shower faster already! I have an appointment too, you know? Calm your already, I'm done, okay? Oh! Hey, my eyes are up here! Ah, you need to leave the place now! It's my turn! What is taking you so long, huh? Really? All these products? Shower gel, shampoo, and hair care? Cream and oils, face lotion, and rubbing body cream, and more? What is all of that? It's care routine, duh! Like everyone does! No? This is perfect! It's dish soap. But it's perfect and cheap! No? Okay, Cheeks, it's not complicated to make basic skincare. You squeeze the mask cream out of the tube like it owes you some lot money. And then spread the lotion on your face in circles like you bathe in your enemy's blood. Mm -hmm. Rinse and scrub out the darn thing, and here we go! <gasps> oh. Are you kidding me? I've been waiting for you for 30 minutes. It's always the same every day. You promise you'll try to wake up. Enough! Wake up, woman! Ah, quit that! I still have time! Clearly not. I'll be late, too, because of you. Stop being so stubborn. It's even you who asked me to wake you up. I changed my mind! Now let me sleep! What? No! Which hero arrives late, huh? Huh? I... Oi! What are you two doing? Huh, Mr. Bakugo? Hi, I can explain! Shh, calm your sea slug, it's just me. Anyway, stop fooling around, you two will be late. Oh, my life flashed before my eyes. Ah, uh, we'll see Uncle Shoto soon. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, Papa, please, up, up! Ha, up, up! No, Mochi. Up, up! Uh, don't tell your mother I'll be a dead meat. Happy princess! Yeah, up! You good, Kasui? Um. Huh? What is this? Taku? Ah, uh, Kashan? Oh, Kachan, you shouldn't fly as a civilian with the kids, you know. Deku! Says the one who makes groceries and flies with it into his hero costume! Didn't you think it'd be dangerous for a civilian down there to receive a leak on their head? Mm. Oi, why are you pinching me? Oh, yeah, Uncle Deku, Pa! Yeah, don't! Thanks, kids. Don't leg my own child against me! Ugh, oh, anyway, sorry. Things are complicated, so I panicked and went to the groceries without thinking. This wedding with Melissa... I'm so happy, but so stressed about it, too. Like, you know she is the woman of my life, so I need to be good enough to be her here for her. But as the number one, it's complicated. Like, this time we went to this restaurant, and this villain showed up, and you know I had to do it, but Melissa was mad, but I was mad, because it was our day, but I love Melissa. In my career, anyway, today she needed some more food, and I wanted to gift her some stuff to show her how much I love her. But then I noticed I took too much time, and I was late for her dinner, so I decided to fly to go faster. And even now, I'm even more late. Maybe if I run, I can do it, and... <sighs> Stop your blabbling! You're maybe the number one, but we create assembly for a reason. So use it, you darn nerd! How many times do we have to tell you? All Might was alone, and that's why he ended like this. So we all promise we'll never let this happen to you. So if it's too much for you, tell us and we'll be here. Stop being so high on your to not ask for a hand. Uh, Conchon! You're such a pain! Plus, Nerdy is a cool girl. You know she'll never be mad at you for doing your job. Now, excuse me, I'm heading home. Oh, well, see you at my wedding then. Yeah, yeah. Kachan, you'll never cease to impress me. You were such a loner, but you reunited everyone and created assembly for me anyway. All Might would be proud of you, you know? Hey, 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 buddy. <sighs> no, please, I'm sorry, listen, uh, I don't. Hey! Hi! Stop bullying you! It's so darn pathetic to use your quirk on a quirkless person. Oh, you're Bakugo, right? So rich of you, coming from the daughter of the terrifying Ground Zero. <laughs> like father, like daughter, I see. You're hitting before thinking. You're here playing around. You feel entitled to act like a hero just because you're Ground Zero's daughter, right? But in reality, you're just seeking for violence in the name of heroism like your daddy. Shut up! T take that! Ugh. Oh my god, what is that? Someone call the police! Are we under attack? Just the wig and I'm ready for the mission. 
I know you fuckers are laughing because of my boobs, but right now it's a damn joke. <laughs> what? Oi, 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 you wanna fuck with me or what? Oi, stay fucking polite and don't do that. Whatever. <sighs> what a pain in the ass. Rumble, rumble. Hmm? Uh, okay, I can do it. Hey, bad boy. Wanna have some fun? Huh? You again, Sea Witch? Go the fuck away, damn it! Uh, lady, please? Okay, so there it's a safety jacket, and here's a loyal lamp, and a spatula. Oh! Yes! I'm so happy to learn more! Yeah, you can't catch me! <laughs> Don't run away! Blah! Kids, enough! Hmm, I see some good authority there. Oh, you're finally there, old tag. Oh, hi, Mitsuki. Watch your mouth, you little shit. Not for an old hag like you, hag. Er, we have to go, dear. We're letting you watch over the kids. But if you happen to be hard on them like you did with me, be sure that I'll be fucking mad. You fucking- Enough! There is no way I let you two make my kids spectators of a splitting family nor learn more bad words. So you two can do whatever you want, but do something about it and quick. Dear, we're going. Yes, coming. Hi, my babies. Hi, mommy. Hi. Grandma. You little monsters. You look so much like your father that it makes my heart melt every time. You know, Grandma, maybe sometime you could talk like this to Daddy, too. I'm sure he'll be happy. You must be right. Anyway, it's time to go to the park and throw dirt at bad kiddos. Yeah! <laughs> well, seems like you nailed it. Of course I did. All you had to deal with worth than that. Compared to you, they're just sweet angels. <sighs> but I've known I've been hard on you. It must have been difficult to you. Yeah, and sorry to be like this to you, too. You know, I'm so glad that you let me watch over your babies. It's okay. You do a pretty good job. Thanks for that. <laughs> I'm proud of you, son. You'll be forever my precious little shit monster. And you, my dear old hag. Little shit. <laughs> Bosha, are you even alive? Yes? What? Yes? Don't yell. <laughs> <clears throat> we need to go. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, there's an elevator. Oh, we should also go to the boss and ask him to let your... Uh, uh, I have to ask her out on a date. Do you know why only the goat works on the farm? When the farmer asks the animals who wants to help me, while well, everyone was indigenous in their own voice. The goat also resented it, but always responded in his own voice. Me! Like me? Sounds like me. Uh, forget it. <laughs> Don't you think we've had it easy? Come on, let's go. Now, we'll save you, and Ida will be proud of me! Wait, it's a trap! Where? <laughs> Decide to put me in my place? That's funny, good witch. Your place is not in this world. <laughs> Azura, go! <laughs> Azura! Shoot! Azura, just hang on! Uh, uh, damn it, not again! Uh, I'm tired. I let my own friends down again. You're a disgrace. You're nothing but trouble. In front of everyone. Every time, I want to prove that I'm just like them. Every time I use magic, I get weak, pass out, and I'm left with unpleasant thoughts. This is no place for you. Uh, maybe he's right. I just want to be like everybody else. Why don't you go to another world? Azura. Azura! <laughs> you were so worried. You need to go to the nurse. Are you okay? Uh, guys, I'm sorry. I just want to go home. Maybe we should walk you out. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of crazy people? They set off an explosion in the building. <gasps> we got five minutes before they wake up. You knew about the trap, but you didn't tell me? And did you have to blow yourself up? Okay, the plan is you help them get out of the building and get to their headquarters. I'll distract them, and maybe I'll find something. If you want to live, follow me. Well, we don't really have a choice. I'm going with you. Luz, I suggest you go with them. Don't tell me what to do. You only get in the way. You should be awake by now. Where do they run off to? I always knew Willow had potential, but I'll have to knock them out. Forever. We're not gonna kill anyone! What are you suggesting? There are a lot of options in this world! Luz, I just kill. That's the same reason I told you to go home with your friends. 
This isn't the police where you make an excuse and they let you go. Here we are, young Harrises. My name is Philip, but you could call me Bellows. We live in a harsh world. Oh, wait. Stop, stop. To be honest, I'm interested in your backstory or your trauma. From the looks of you, you look like someone from the last century. So you could accept the new generation and think you're like the king? And besides, your face is scary. I advise you to wear a mask. What a spoiled and reckless generation. I'm not even surprised that you're trapped. Trusting everyone. I don't know what you're talking about, but if you're talking about Amity, it's none of your business. Are you okay, Mr. Mike? You seem troubled. Oh, sorry, little listener. I was just thinking about what's a plan for our English lesson tomorrow. What was it that you were saying earlier? I just wanted to say I really appreciate you training me and all. Uh, I'm just frustrated, I guess. Everyone in class is working together with their quirks, but I feel like I'm fighting against mine. I've trained my quirk for years. I worked so hard, but now I feel like a little kid developing their quirk again. I'm so behind. Kiddo, it's not a race. You'll be screaming your heart out soon. Don't rush it. Let the power flow naturally, and I'll let you in on a little secret, kid. Nobody knows what they're doing. Huh? Really? Really? If you two are done screaming like banshees, trading's over. Come along, Sakurai, we're heading back to class. Uh oh already? Time flew by so fast! What do you know? It sure did! Well, you heard Mother Hen, go on back with your flock! Ah, oh, right! Thank you again for taking time to help me train, Mr. Mike. I'll be sure to work harder next time. Anytime, kid. Remember, it's all about finding your rhythm. Damn it, Hisashi. Not again. Hisashi Yamada babysitting his baby cousin, Kiyomi. Check it out, Kazuna! mini size Hime! Oh, those glasses are too big for her! Hey, Alexi, can I get some dating advice? Just because I'm dating now, it doesn't mean I know how I did it. <laughs> Nikita, help! I told Alexei I cooked dinner, but I can't cook! And you thought I could help? Hey, Nikita. Yeah, what's up? Can I talk to you for a second? Let me guess. You and now are having problems and you want me to teach you how to kiss. What? No, stop that. I know how to kiss. I've read books. Are you sure this is the right direction now? Certainly. I'm as sure as I am smart. In that case, we're definitely lost. Mm hmm? The heck? You messed up the potion? I left for two minutes! In my defense, I was left unsupervised. Wasn't Nikita with you? In my defense, I was also left unsupervised. Oh my... Ugh. What? What? What did you just say? I was just acknowledging the fact that there's a sunset. It's not too cold, it's not too hot. We're alone. It's kind of romantic. If only I was here with someone other than you. Like, like with some surfer guy or whatever. But I was too busy looking out for you. If you weren't so dense, I wouldn't have to make sure that you don't get your heart smashed into a million pieces. But I thought you hate me. Why are you looking out for me? Ugh. I just told you why. It's because you're so dense. And it's like watching a puppy get kicked. Yeah, I'm always mean to you. But I've known you for years. Sure, when I first found out you were here, I just had to mess with you. Come on, I'm Helga G. Pataki. But when I found out she was planning on stabbing you in the back, I had to tell you. Um, and because of that, now I have to smooch you. What? Well, doy, because of you, I'm not watching the sunset with a cute guy. But we can't. Nothing's stopping us. That would be crazy. Hey, didn't you sing a song about being crazy? What? Are you crazy? Want to find out how crazy I am? Why here? Why now? Hello, Sunset! We don't have to. Now you're just a chicken. You know that's not true. Then prove it! Uh... Sheesh, football head, relax. I was just joking. <laughs> I just wanted to prove that I wasn't a chicken. At least I didn't chicken out like you did. Anyways, I should go before my grandparents start to worry about me. Good night, Helga. Uh. <laughs> there are things I love. Being a dick to everyone, and sleeping, and picking up my small girlfriend. Jax, put me down. Hmm, mommy? I had a nightmare, mommy? Just ignore him. He hey, Pawnee. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, 
Oh, that little... You little annoying little pest! You are a little sh... <laughs> jeans. Ribbon jeans. Mother, why are those two dumb for? <laughs> Palmy, can we talk? Oh, uh, sure, what for? About yesterday. I is Zubal still mad that he didn't, uh... You flinched, thinking I was going to hit you. It's not your fault. It never was. People are assholes, Palmy. We all care for you, Palmy. We do. We want you to know it's going to be okay. Thank you. You're welcome, clown face. Hey, Jax, you want to help me carry my things? Beg, then maybe I will. Jax, you are an eh. Hey, son, I'm the man behind the slaughter. Ew, Dad. Wee! <coughs> FNAF is cringe, Dad. What did I walk into? Hey, Pomni. Hmm? Look up. A, a mistletoe? When did... Merry Christmas, clown face. Hey, no fair! <coughs> Jess, please go to bed. You need sleep. We've done everything to keep you calm, kiddo. Please go to sleep. <coughs> We've tried everything, Pomni. Are babies normally this difficult? Hmm. If Jess is made from AI, wouldn't he eat IS and OS? That explains why Kane brought in Jax with computer chips in it. Who knew our baby would eat computer chips? Yeah, we should go to bed. Yeah, we should, but at least he's piff but at least he's peacefully asleep. It's adorable. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> Jax, I'm trying to cook. Don't care, Bunny. Want snuggles. Has she's always been like that. What do I look like, a researcher? You're right. Let's look it up. Hmm. Here we are. Oh, they were always like that. Yeah, Sherlock. Hey, guys, want to see my organs? Oh, God, why? I always wanted to do x-rays. Mom? Mom, I'm scared. I don't know what's... I can't move! No! It hurts! It hurts! It hurts! You lied to us, mother. J yes! You never cared, mother. You never did. You need to pay. <gasps> Jess, no! Clown face, you okay? I heard you scream. I, I had a bad dream, Jax. It was horrible. I. Hey, take a deep breath, okay? It was just a bad dream. Here, let me hold you. <gasps> See, it's okay. I'm not gonna allow anyone to hurt you. You're safe, Pomni. <laughs> Oh, God. I wonder what will happen if I look up TADC. Let's see. Five minutes later. This was a mistake. Hey, Gringle, what are... Oh, nothing? Oh, hey, nice drawing. Keep up the great work. Hey, Papa, look, I made a drawing. Oh, well, it looks lovely, Pawnee. Can I put it on the fridge? Sure. Uh, uh, achoo! I don't remember becoming a furry with a hand tail. Clown face? Everything alright? I've just been missing the real world, that's all. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. A few hours later. And that's basically why she's been sad. Look, I've been an ass to you both, but can you help me cheer her up, please? Have you tried being romantic with her? Gifts and such? Kinda surprised you're even trying, Jax. Yes, Gangle, but it seems to just make her sad. Why not give her something of comfort? That could work. Somewhere to go to when missing the real world. <gasps> um, there's gonna be a school trip to the aquarium, and I need to get a permission slip from a parent. You don't need such distractions. Just focus on your training. All work and no rest won't do him any good. He needs to go out and have fun. What does a UA dropout know about what it takes to be a hero? Stay out of it. <laughs> NG, can we talk in the other room for a moment? <sighs> 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 I didn't mean to cause trouble. Sh Shoto, and go to the trip. <gasps> Dude, listen, I know that I'm gonna regret asking, but like, are you my dad or just him? <clears throat> Your father has a thick skull and a big dick. Both need to be smashed in order to get anything through to him. I'm gonna die. <clears throat> By the way, I got your dad to buy that phone you kept asking for. <clears throat> <clears throat> I shall live for another day. Um, so this is my boyfriend, Mirio. Hi, Sensei! Mm -hmm. And that's my boyfriend's girlfriend, Ibiko. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is my boyfriend, Kaminari Dunkey. <laughs> and this is my other boyfriend, A-Hole. 
Oh, it was too much to handle, so he got himself an emotional support 1A student. <laughs> okay, so I may have been a bad influence. Eraser, we're asking students and faculty around UA some questions. Please answer with the first thing that comes to mind. Okay, uh, first question. What was the inspiration for your hero name? Uh, Dunno, a friend gave it to me. Oh, that's cute. And who's your personal hero? My paycheck. And, uh, who do you idolize? My dad. Isn't that the evil guy in Tartarus who murders people and steals their quirks? Okay, uh, what's something you're grateful for? Days where I don't have an alarm set. Listen, is this going to take long? I have a class to get to before someone dies or burns the school down. Uh, no, that's all. Thank you. Papa, no kitty! You already have Empress, little one. Dear heart, don't you pout at Papa. Please don't cry, Angel. <coughs> Dumb baby tricked by cat plush toy. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Today we have a special episode with a guest appearance. I've been instructed not to move due to budgetary reasons. Ahem. So, a factoid about Eraserhead has been circling for a while. We'd love to hear your side. I'm a pro when it comes to Eraserhead, so go right ahead. How does it feel to be married to an ace person? Well, it's wonderful because it's Eraserhead. And are you ace yourself? Well, I am what a racer head calls a kinky bastard. Huh, so you're into stuff? Very much so. So how do you deal with it? I have hands, my friend! Have you ever done or considered having special friends to help you out? The mere thought of even looking at someone that isn't a racer makes my stomach turn. Phew, I finally got all my meals done for this week. But I still have a lot of vegetables and ingredients left. Maybe I should make some fried rice? Oh, maybe can use the leftovers to make Aizawa some lunch tomorrow. It'll be perfect! He can finally have some real food to eat besides jelly packets. And we can finally eat lunch together. <laughs> One hour later. Nothing wrong with making it look cute for him. Next day. There he is! Yo, Aizawa! What do you want? Yesterday I was prepping my lunches for the week and I had some leftover ingredients and made you some lunch. Hmm, let me see. Mm -hmm. You wanna have sex? What? 